the tag is Spanky, and he plays Pokemon Trainer in this game. Uh, the guy on the right I've seen here before, but I don't know his tag. I'm blanking on his tag. I think he plays Dr. Mario. I could be wrong. Yeah, man, he's got the watch. He's got the blazer. He's he's ready. Yeah, he, he looks good. Yeah, he's like, if, if I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go out styling. If, yeah. if I lose, <laughs> this man, this man looks like the kind of guy who would play the uh, Doctor Demario. You know, the, yeah. the, the the one with the PhD. Yeah. We'll have to see. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to take a guess here. What his main is? Pokemon trainer. Pokemon trainer and Doc. I was right. <laughs> See, I do, I do recognize him. I just don't remember his tag. Yeah. We'll find out in a short second, and I'm going to beat myself up over it. So, Dr. Mario versus Pokemon Trainer. Pokemon Stadium 2. What surprise? None at all. Oh, and that is the strategist yeah. from NSD. Yeah, I, I, do, I, re I recognize yeah. the tag. I could have yeah. matched the name of the face. All right, so actually starting off with Squirtle, I mean, that's going to be the common story with all these Pokemon trainers, but actually, uh, Dr. Mario, just because of his size and the way he trades with a lot of aerials, works out for him to be able to fight against uh, Squirtle in the beginning rounds uh, against Pokemon trainers. For sure, and Squirtle's always going to usually be the uh, first pick for most Pokemon trainer players because he has such an incredible low percent and mid percent combo game. Uh, despite being so light, and the immediate switch is going to get him that up B, not quite the stock yet. Oh, that might potentially be it. Doesn't get the tipper, though. Got another chance offstage one more time. Oh, no. Uh, he was looking for the downer. Doesn't quite find it. He's going to be stuck at the ledge now. Strategist. Oh, I like the down B. Able to cover uh, multiple options from Spanky at the ledge. As long as he doesn't whip it, then he should be in a good position just to get back into the center stage. Trying to use the build for pressure, but Spanky knows the parry. Gets a good positioning out of it. Oh, no. Okay, that was... Quite an unfortunate self-destruct for the strategist. Goes low with the down B uh, and wasn't able to make it back. The down B is really good for stalling out your recovery, especially if you're already recovering from high because you can gain uh, a little bit of horizontal distance. Yep. Stuck off stage, though. Dr. Mario's is kind of difficult to make it back in the center stage, but he's finally going to get the grab. Oh, but a great switch. Of course, you are in tangible frames 1 to 25 on that move. And then when you come back out, you should be able to have just enough time to punish if you timed it correctly. All right, Spanky already working on getting this second stock, and he's going to tank this hit of the up smash uh, with the withdrawal. Switching right back to Ivysaur. Can he get a down air? He's looking for it. I feel like uh, even if it, the forward air won't necessarily kill, I feel like that might be a better uh, option in this case just because uh, he can keep them off stage, but it's just one of those things. Like right? While you're playing, sometimes you're really hungry for that there. Uh, anything can really happen to that kind of scenario. Okay. Strategist finally cleaning up that first stock with the down B uh, covering Spanky's high recovery. 118%, he's got some rage to work with too. If he can get a grab, this may be what he needs. Using the air dodge to survive a little bit longer. Oh no. I wish he had gone straight to the ledge with the up B because I think he would have actually been able to snap before Ivysaur was able to get that perfect position to hit that down air. Right. Well, we got the Squirtle coming back out. Got a big juggle position. For him, and it's difficult for him to try and make it back. And again, just the story of this whole game. Spanky's been doing an excellent job of keeping strategists off stage, just in poor positioning. And Spanky just has these both platforms on both sides of him to be able to control the space and just make sure that Spanky can't make it back to center stage. 75 to 81 percent, make that 58 to 81. Down throw from Spanky. He's looking really good on this uh, second stock. Just taking it slow, making good use of the Razor Leaf. Uh, excellent projectile to keep him away. And the switch into Charizard and an immediate back air to blow up Strategist off the side. Game one going to Spanky. I think one of the big things that separates the good Pokemon trainers from the best ones is understanding your moveset that's available to you after your switch mm -hmm. too. Because he knew, okay, I'm going to use the switch to bring myself back into a better position, but remember that, okay, Charizard, I have this meaty back hair back that's hair. going to be able to yeah. kill, especially at these early percents against a small character like Dr. Mario. So, And strategists are going to elect to go to Battlefield. Not quite sure what Pokemon the stage player. ban was, but uh, I don't know. What, what would you ban against Dr. Mario, really? 
it's just the small stages, I feel. Yeah, especially like a character like Ivysaur on your roster where you have that yeah. Razor Leaf, keep them off stage, keep them a far away distance from you. You don't want a close combat character like Dr. Mario to be anywhere near you. And For then sure. if you have a li wide stage, you also have the ability to just like neutralize pills from wherever you are. We're going to go to Battlefield, kind of a compromise because uh, probably took out Smashville and Yoshi's Island yeah. just scared of like the early yeah, kills definitely. on that. Stage. I could definitely see that and look at this early damage coming out from Spanky the immediate switch to Ivysaur I like that because he lined himself up to get these razor leads and potentially set up for a down air edge guard yeah. Ivysaur is one of the best characters in the game to be able to pressure and make them pick the <laughs> option that you want them to do off stage just because you have that razor leaf to uh, take them off stage as well as uh, the dare to get that spike and that up air to catch them if they're going high as well. Yeah. You, you, could, so many options. you could have ended that statement right after Ivysaur is one of the best <laughs> characters in the game, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's making it work right now and there's that down air at 145 at that percent. Anything Ivysaur has is going to kill, but hey man, we go for the hype at on MSM streams. Yep. Back here out of shield right there, Spanky already putting on 32%. He's gonna lap the strategist. Yet to find an answer. Yeah, this is kind of the same story as the Pokemon Stadium one. Spanky's doing an amazing job of keeping up ledge trapping and control, but he's gonna try to wiggle his controller, try to play like the brawl base. Didn't quite work out there. Strategist trying to go in. Oh no, not again. Strategist is down and Spanky looking like he just got off of playing Elite Smash. <laughs> Spamming that crouch. Yeah, that was just difficult. That was a bad <laughs> position to try to just put himself in. I can understand trying to get that edge guard and trying to get that stock, uh, but Spanky did one amazing job being able to move around it. And two, recognizing that position, an awkward area that he put himself in. Once you're running off bear, then you kind of have to be reverse your up B, and it takes a while to position yourself back. All right, strategist finding the forward air by the ledge, catching Spanky with from the jump. Uh, able to close out one more stock, but he's got two more to go, and this is his last chance to put him himself on the board. I was thinking with the Charizard. I mean, I, I know that this is pretty much the, the weakest of the three, but he's trying to make it work. I mean, he's got a whole stock to work with, so yeah. why, not, why not practice Get my weakest Get the practice character? in yeah. for sure, yeah. All right, jab at the ledge, punishing the directional air dodge onto the stage. Now let's see what Strategist is going to do. Back air putting him off stage and Spanky just chasing him. He really is trying to make this Charizard work right now. Yeah. Oh, directional air dodge through. He's going to be just fine. Goes underneath the pill. Yeah, you can tell Strategist is really hungry for this kill to potentially bring it back to an even stock scenario. The Flare Blitz comes out. That's a free punish, but he's only going to get a run up up there. He has so much time to get something out of it, and he knows it the mm. second time gets that up smash. Plenty of time to get that. Yeah, that first time I, I could. Definitely see why he went for that up air. It was a bit of an awkward position where he, he wasn't sure if uh, Charizard was going to fly off the stage, but I think uh, he, he would have landed on the stage. He would have been able to just get a, a forward smash. 107, though, this is not too bad. He lands with the empty grab, tries to go for the down throw fair. That's definitely looking scary for Spanky right about now. 63%, he's at kill percent. Oh, he had the pill set up, and Spanky trying to go back to center stage. Oh! It's a pressure, oh, the up smash! What a read. Oh, it's just barely not going to be able to kill you there. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, no, the same way. Yet again. <laughs>